All right, let me show you how to improve your TOEFL reading score by three points. It's basically to fix this way of answering questions. Most people, when they answer TOEFL reading questions, they read the text, look for the answer, and choose the first option that fits. Pretty simple, but there's a better way. You read the text, you look for the answer, and then you do one other thing that's a little different. So let's look at an example. And I want you to just try to answer this question right now. I'm gonna be unfair and just give you 20 seconds to answer because uh, I just wanna do this quickly, <laughs> but uh, go ahead, 20 seconds. You can start trying to answer the question now. Let's see if you were correct. Most people answer this question with A, but the actual correct answer is B. And I'll just explain really quickly how this is connected to the way of answering better. And the way of answering better is to eliminate each choice before you answer. So instead of saying, hey, A looks good, I'm gonna choose A, no. A looks good, let me look at B, let me look at C, and let me look at D and make sure that those are incorrect. Now you might be saying, hey, you only gave me 20 seconds. I didn't have time to do that. I know, I was being unfair. Uh, usually you'll have about a minute per question on test day, but time is an issue, definitely. But you want to get good at this when you practice. You want to eliminate choices first before you choose a correct answer. And I'm going to explain why. So you look at A and it says most societies have vegetarian diets and do not consume meat or fish. And then the first sentence says, or the second sentence says, many societies eat vegetarian fare almost exclusively. So almost exclusively is not only, okay? So they, it's not almost exclusively means like sometimes they do eat other things besides, besides uh, vegetables. So sometimes, so almost exclusively. So that word almost changes the meaning of the sentence. That's why A is not correct. That's why you have to eliminate choices because the TOEFL is tricky. They give you answer choices that look correct, that seem like they are correct, but there's usually little things that are wrong. Now I know that time is an issue for a lot of people. You're like, Josh, I don't have time on test day. I don't read that fast. That's okay. When you're practicing at least, you wanna take your time because you wanna get good at being able to identify why a choice is incorrect. So you wanna say, okay, B is the best answer because A is not right, C is not right, and D is not right. Also, when you eliminate, you increase your option, you increase your chances of being correct. Now, you might eliminate a choice and it's the correct answer, so this, this math doesn't really work, but I, I just wanna illustrate that by eliminating your making your life a little easier. You're getting closer to the answer, okay? Uh, it doesn't always work. Uh, you know, some people will say, hey, Josh, I always get the answer wrong when it comes down to do two choices. Okay, I eliminate B, I eliminate C, I have two choices left. I choose A and it's always D. The first I'm gonna say is this is probably not true. Uh, you notice when you get it wrong more, getting answers wrong is more painful than getting answers right. So you're probably not always getting it wrong. But, you know, if this is true, let's say, if you get it down to two choices and it's you always choose the wrong one, well, then choose the one you think is wrong, if that's always the case. Okay, I think it's A, I'm gonna pick D because I'm always wrong when I pick A. Do that. But I don't think that's true. I think you just notice when you get it down to two choices and you pick the wrong one. There are usually three reasons why an answer is wrong. So some people say, Josh, okay, I can do this, but I don't know how to explain why my answer is wrong. It's pretty simple. Either you misunderstood the question, you answered the wrong question, it was an inference question and you answered a detail question, or you thought the question was asking you one thing but you said something else, okay? You misunderstood the passage, okay, maybe you thought the passage meant this but it really meant this. Or you didn't understand the vocabulary. Vocabulary is too hard, you didn't really get it. It's one of those three reasons. And then you think of ways of doing better next time. Maybe there's some words that you need to practice, some vocabulary that's important. Or maybe you're gonna read the question more carefully next time, so you make sure that you answer the right question. 
So these are the simple reasons why a question is wrong and what you can do to be better next time. So you want to do that when you have a, a passage like this and you're answering questions, you're eliminating choices, you explain why each choice is correct or incorrect. I give an explanation. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but in the bottom here, it explains why each choice is incorrect. When you do a practice at TST prep, we give an answer key that explains why everything is correct or incorrect. When possible, try to practice with TOEFL practice that has an answer key. That's why you should do the TOEFL emergency course, tstprep.com. Uh, this is perfect for anybody preparing in less than a month that your English fluency is at a pretty good level, but you just need to know the tips and tricks and strategy, the most important stuff for TOEFL. This design, you can finish it in two days. Most people take a week or two weeks, but if you have less than a month to prepare, this is perfect. The TOEFL emergency course is designed for students just like you that just need to know the most important things for TOEFL before test day. So if you wanna maximize your score, get the best possible score, check it out, TOEFL emergency course. And in the TOEFL emergency course, we have practice that has answer explanations. So that's really important that you get answer explanations for all your questions. So that's the better way. Eliminate choices before you answer the question. And that's how you improve your score by three points, is that you take your time to make sure that you can explain why your answer is correct. Practice doing that. I hope you found this helpful. I'm gonna put a link to the, another video here about TOEFL listening this time and how to uh, get a better score by three plus points. So check that out. And that's it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.